Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore, and today we are going to continue the class concept that is how to send the arguments and how to receive the return values from member functions. Today, I am going to explain how to pass the arguments to the member functions and how to return the values from member functions. Okay, now as usual function contains arguments or parameters and function also having a return value. Like the normal member functions, we can also send the arguments to member functions and we can also receive the values from member functions. The values we are sending to the function are called arguments and the function which is giving the values are called return values. Now, I am going to explain with one example how to send and receive the values to or from a function as usual regular header files iostream.h for input and output operations conio.h for screen clear and get ch functions next i am going to give a class here i am going to start a class here now class for example employee now the class name is employee now, generally employee is having some data. No? For example, I am going to take int employee id. Next, character employee name. Next, float salary. Now, these are the three members. In this example, first of all, I am going to give you only the arguments. In next example, we are going to discuss how to receive the return values. Now, how to pass the arguments to the functions. Next, employee id is there, employee name is there, salary is there. Actually, they are called what? Data members. Next, to work with the private data members, we should have to write uh, member functions within the same class. That is why in public area, void get tmp. Next, Actually, here my intention is what I want to send the arguments. That is why here in brackets, I am going to use the arguments list. First argument is what employee id is integer. That is why int id. Next, character. Here what it is? E name, employee name. In place of that, I am going to use name. And I want to send the what? Salary. Now, float. That is why float for example, basic, next is semicolon because of I want to conduct the definition outside the class. Next, another member function void put emp. Now, there is no argument brackets close semicolon. That means, class definition completed. Now, the class name is employee and the members are id, name, salary and member functions are get emp, put emp. Next, now we have to define the member function outside the class. When the member function definition is outside the class, there is a rule we have discussed that is scope operator should be used. That is why first return type. Here return type is what void. Now first void. Next member function name get emp. That is why get emp. Next how many arguments we have to send? three arguments. One is integer, one is string, one is float. That is why first int id, next char name of 20 and float basic. Now, how many arguments? Three arguments. Now, we have to pass these arguments means formal parameter values to the members. That is why here id equal to, see this here id is the argument. I want to send this argument to employee id. That is why here employee id equal to id. Now, what happens? id is having some value, no? that value is stored in emp id. Next name, for example, I am going to write name equal to, means employee name. That is why employee name equal to name. Now, it gives error. Because of in C and C++, we are facing one problem. Direct string copying not allowed. C compiler and C++ compiler never supports 
direct string of copying. That means, this string is never copied into this string using equal operator. Okay. That is why they have provided one predefined function called strcpy. That is why just you have to use the strcpy like this strcpy of destination first means where we want to store the string, where we want to store here in ename we want to store the string that is why ename comma next source is what this name that is why it is the source and it is the destination that is why here source we have to write name. Now, what happens this name copied into ename okay. and here it is a predefined function available in string dot h that is why we have to add string dot h also here that is why here hash include string dot h also added because of str cpu. Next third argument is what basic salary that is why sal equal to basic and actually basic is a floating data that is why we can assign directly to the variable by using equal operator. Now, brackets close that is why here get emp is a member function which is having the arguments and these arguments are stored inside id means employee id, employee name and salary next input process complete. Next process is what we have to print this data now that is why there is another function I have used put emp. Now, we have to go for put definition now void put emp, but here the problem is observe that we are getting definitions now. Now, here the definitions are conducted where inside the class or outside the class outside the class when this syntax is used what happens it gives error because of the compiler does not know get emp is what that is why the rule is what here first void later emp colon colon. Now, your compiler understands get emp is the member of emp class now there is no problem okay? otherwise you are going to get error same to same here also put emp is the member of same emp class no? that is why void emp class name colon colon put emp. Now, there is no argument that is why empty brackets later in put emp I want to show the results results means what employee id employee name salary that is why see out first employee id equal to emp id and end l for next line next see out name equal to means employee name equal to next e name and end l next see out salary equal to sal next function completed that is why here it is a get emp definition it is the put emp definition now definitions also completed here what they are declarations function declarations now it is what definition now one more topic balance now that is function calling where we have to call the function from main function that is why now i am going to start main function now main function okay fine now the main is started first of all to invoke the member functions we should have to declare the object of the class now that is why first emp e now e is the object now object and memory created okay later we have to call the functions now first i am going to use screen clear later e dot get emp and get emp is having arguments no that is why we have to send the values for example here 101 next name kishore for example salary 10000 now what happens 101 password to id and kishore password to name and 10000 password to basic now that id is password to employee id and kishore is password to employee name and 10000 is going to 
salary. That is why all the members are initialized. Now, initialization passing of the values complete. Later next step is what? We have to output the result. Means output function is what? Put EMB. That is why E dot put EMB. Now, there is no argument. No? That is why empty bracket. When E dot put EMB is called what happens? Compilation jump out to the definition part. Means this one. No? Now, C out. C out is what printing? First employee ID printed. Employee ID is what? 101. Handle gives what next line. In next line, employee name Kishore is printed. In next line, salary 10,000 is printed. Now, the program close. That is why input process completed, output process completed means total program completed now. That is why we have to close the program. Now, to get the answer directly, we are using get ch. And when the program is completed, we should have to close the main function now. That is why main also closed. Now, it is how to send the arguments to the member functions. Okay? It is how to send the arguments to the member functions and how to print the values. Okay? Thank you.